Have you ever wondered why the ground over Yellowstone is rising? An intriguing question, isn't it? The ground at Yellowstone, this vast expanse of natural beauty, is indeed rising. It's a peculiar phenomenon, baffling laymen and scientists alike, stirring up a whirlwind of questions and concerns. And naturally, it has sparked an appetite for answers. Now you might think, why should I care? It's just a bit of ground rising, right? But here's where things get interesting. This isn't some random land upheaval. This is Yellowstone we're talking about, home to one of the world's largest volcanic systems. So you see, this rising ground isn't just a geological hiccup. It could potentially be a prologue to a volcanic spectacle. However, let's not jump to apocalyptic conclusions just yet. The world of geology isn't as straightforward as it might seem. It's not a simple case of up goes the ground, boom goes the volcano. There's so much more at play beneath the surface of our planet and Yellowstone is a prime example of this complexity. So what's really happening beneath this sprawling natural wonder? The answer lies in the intricate dance of geological forces. You see, our Earth's crust isn't solid and static. It's a dynamic tapestry of tectonic plates, constantly shifting and reshaping. It's this ceaseless movement that's causing the ground at Yellowstone to rise. But of course, it's not just tectonic ballet at work. Remember the volcanic system we mentioned earlier? Deep beneath Yellowstone, there's a colossal reservoir of molten rock, or magma. This magma is under immense pressure. And it's this pressure that could be pushing the ground upward. Yet it's not all doom and gloom. Scientists are closely monitoring the situation, and for now, it's more of a let's see what happens scenario. So, while the rising ground at Yellowstone is a fascinating puzzle, it's not necessarily a sign of impending disaster. So, the rising ground isn't as simple as it appears. Far from it. It's a testament to the dynamic and complex nature of our planet, a subtle reminder of the geological forces at work beneath our feet. Yellowstone, a fascinating geological puzzle, awaits unravelling. At the heart of this puzzle lies a vast subterranean landscape of molten rock and shifting tectonic plates. But what's causing the ground at Yellowstone to rise? Let's dig deeper. Yellowstone sits atop a volcanic hotspot, a region where Earth's mantle melts, creating magma. This magma, under tremendous pressure, forces its way up, leading to what we call the uplift. It's like a gigantic geological sigh as the Earth's crust heaves upward. But remember, it's not as if the ground is shooting skyward. This uplift is happening at a pace that makes a snail look like a sprinter. Now you might be thinking, Magma rises, ground rises. Simple, right? Well, not quite. This is where the geological puzzle gets more complex. The ground rise at Yellowstone isn't just due to magma movements. There's another player in this geological drama, hydrothermal fluids. These are superheated waters that seep into the ground, expand due to heat, and can also cause the ground to rise. But there's more. The tectonic plates beneath Yellowstone are constantly on the move, sliding and shifting like colossal puzzle pieces. This tectonic ballet can also contribute to the ground's rise. So, we've got magma pushing up, hydrothermal fluids expanding, and tectonic plates shifting, all contributing to Yellowstone's rising ground. But remember, it's not a cause for panic. These are natural processes that have been happening for millions of years. Understanding this intricate geological puzzle is not just about satisfying our curiosity. It's also crucial for predicting volcanic activity and ensuring public safety. As we continue to study Yellowstone, we're learning more about the fascinating forces that shape our planet. This complex geological puzzle continues to leave us in awe. As we watch, study and learn, we realize that the earth beneath our feet is far from static. It's a living, breathing entity, forever changing and evolving. And Yellowstone is a prime example of this dynamic process. Could this rising ground be an indication of some underground magma shenanigans? That's the question on everyone's mind, and it's not as outlandish as you might think. You see, beneath Yellowstone's picturesque landscapes and geysers lies a molten river of magma. The movement of this magma can cause the ground to rise and fall, much like the ebb and flow of the ocean's tides. This is known as ground deformation, and it's a common occurrence in volcanic regions. But let's unravel this a bit further. Magma, this fiery, semi-liquid rock beneath the Earth's crust, is constantly on the move. It's driven by the heat from the Earth's core and the pressure from the overlying rock layers. When magma rises closer to the surface, it can cause the ground above it to swell. This is one possible explanation for the rising ground at Yellowstone. But what would this mean for the park? Well, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. 
On one hand, the movement of magma is a vital part of the Earth's geological cycle. It's what powers Yellowstone's famous geysers and hot springs, and it's a testament to the dynamic, ever-changing nature of our planet. On the other hand, magma movement could potentially signal a volcanic eruption. But before you start picturing a Hollywood-style explosion, it's important to remember that not all eruptions are catastrophic. In fact, most are quite small and go unnoticed by us surface dwellers. So, is the rising ground at Yellowstone a cause for concern? Not necessarily. It could just be the Earth doing its thing, with magma flowing and shifting beneath our feet. But it could also be a sign of something more. That's why scientists are monitoring the situation closely, using advanced technologies to track the magma's movements and predict possible eruptions. While it's a possibility, magma movement is just one piece of the puzzle. It's a complex and fascinating geological riddle, and only time will reveal the full story. For now, let's appreciate the incredible forces at work beneath Yellowstone and the awe-inspiring power of our beautiful dynamic Earth. Does the rising ground mean that Yellowstone is about to blow its top? This is a question that has been on the minds of many, and understandably so. The concept of a volcanic eruption is inherently dramatic and, dare we say, a tad bit terrifying. But it's crucial to understand that the rise and fall of Yellowstone's ground is not a straightforward indication of an impending eruption. Let's delve a little deeper. Volcanoes are complex geological phenomena, and predicting eruptions isn't as simple as observing a bit of ground swelling. Multiple factors come into play, including seismic activity, gas emissions, and changes in the volcano's shape. Geologists use a combination of these indicators to assess the likelihood of an eruption. Now, the rising ground at Yellowstone could be due to magma moving closer to the surface, or, it could be a result of hydrothermal fluids shifting underground. Both scenarios can cause the ground to rise, but they don't necessarily mean that an eruption is imminent. Moreover, Yellowstone is a caldera, a type of volcano that tends to have larger but less frequent eruptions. The last major eruption was about 600,000 years ago, and since then, the volcano has experienced numerous smaller eruptions and episodes of ground deformation. Scientists constantly monitor these signs of volcanic activity using state-of-the-art technology and years of research data. They study patterns, compare current activity to historical records, and use complex models to predict possible future events. So, while the rising ground at Yellowstone is indeed intriguing, it's not a cause for immediate alarm. The experts are on the case, analyzing every blip, every tremor, every shift in the landscape. In conclusion, Predicting a volcanic eruption is a nuanced process, and while the swelling ground at Yellowstone might raise eyebrows, it doesn't necessarily mean we should brace for volcanic fireworks. An eruption may not be imminent, but the rising ground certainly adds to the intrigue. Fear not, for scientists are keeping a vigilant watch over Yellowstone. The ground at Yellowstone may be rising, but it's not doing so without the watchful eyes of science tracking its every shift and swell. This isn't a new phenomenon or an overlooked detail. Rather, it's a testament to our unwavering commitment to understand and safeguard our planet. Geologists, volcanologists and a host of other scientists are keeping tabs on Yellowstone around the clock. They use a variety of modern technologies to monitor the ground movement, thermal activity and other geological phenomena. From GPS and satellite imagery to seismographs and ground-based thermal sensors, every subtle shift beneath Yellowstone's surface is meticulously recorded and analysed. These professionals are not just monitoring, they are also studying. They dig deep into the data, trying to understand the intricate dance of geological forces at play. This ongoing research helps us to learn more about the Earth's crust, the movement of magma beneath it, and the signs that might precede a volcanic eruption. But it's not just about understanding the science. These professionals play a crucial role in ensuring public safety. They are the ones who will sound the alarm if an eruption becomes likely. Their vigilance ensures that, if Yellowstone does decide to put on a volcanic show, we won't be caught off guard. These scientists are our frontline defenders against the unpredictable nature of our planet. Their work is a constant reminder of our responsibility to respect and understand the Earth's natural processes. They stand guard not just over Yellowstone, but over all such geological hotspots around the world, ensuring that we are never unprepared for the Earth's unexpected turns. So as the ground at Yellowstone continues its mysterious rise, remember that we are not in the dark. 
science has its watchful eyes trained on it, ready to decipher the messages it sends. For now, it's more of a watch-and-learn situation, as we continue to unravel the secrets of Yellowstone.